Do you want to have a date reservation on your form? Well, that is possible with job form widgets. Let me show you how right now. Welcome to job form. My name is George and I'm going to show you how to add a date reservation widget on your form and it's going to be super easy. So let's get started. This is my job form panel and we're going to get started with a brand new form. So let's go into create a form and we're going to start from scratch. It is possible to use a template, import a form, create a signable document and use the date reservation widget. But in this case, we're going to show you on a scratch form. We're going to use classic form. And this is going to open up the job form builder. So on our left, we have our form elements. We can go ahead and add our elements as we would always, but we're going to add that date reservation widget. So to find it, we're going to go into widgets and we're going to search for date reservation. Here it is. And we're going to drag it in our form wherever we like. In this case, I'll put it in between these two elements. Okay. So this is going to add the widget and it's going to add this little calendar to our form. In this case, we're going to be able to allow them to reserve dates. You might have different use cases for this, and it will depend on what you want to use it for. So once we add the element, we have our options on the right. These are the widget settings. And in this case, for example, we have the days limit. So how many days can they reserve? In this case, we're going to say hypothetically seven days. Then we want to allow past dates. Yes or no. So you don't want to allow. If you do, then it's going to enable the past dates right here. In this case, we are going to keep it off. We want them to reserve future dates. OK, then we have the date format. This is really useful depending on the country that you are, especially if you're in a Latin American country, then you want to use day, month, year. But in this case, in America, we're going to use year, month, date. OK, then we want to allow today. So we want them allowed to reserve today or not. If not, go ahead and select no. And then we have the message option. OK. So in this case, by default, it says you can select up to seven days. You can change this message if you like by using this variable right here. So for example, if I want to change the message to something like, okay, so in this case, I modify the message to say you can reserve up to our variable days. For example, the variable is going to be grabbed from the days limit. Here we go. You can reserve up to seven days. So you can modify this message if you like. So that's for the widget settings. Then we have the properties for the actual element. So we can change the alignment. So right now it's the left. Maybe we want it to the center. So we want to change that up. The label. Do we want to show date reservation here on the top? If you don't, go ahead and disable it. The label alignment. We can go ahead and change it. The width, the height, the if you want to make it required or not. So if you do want them to reserve a date and it's required, go ahead and enable this. Once that's done, let's go into advanced and you have your widget name field labels. Do you want to shrink it in case you want to add more elements? So if I shrink also the email, just to give you an idea, go into properties, advanced, and we are going to shrink it. It moves up. So in this case, it takes up less space. Let's go back into our widget. Let's go to properties, advanced, and we also have move to a new line. So it's going to change it to a new line or hide the field for different purposes. Okay. So hide field is really useful when you want to use conditional logic. So in case they select a drop down menu where it says, yes, I want to reserve, we can make this widget pop up with the hide field and conditional logic, which is pretty useful. OK, now basically that is how you're going to do this. Let's fill this out one time so you can see how these reservations actually look when you receive it in your job form tables. OK, so let's go into preview form. And we're going to add our details right here. And I'm going to say Jorge Aguilar and I'm going to reserve the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, and I'll add a test email just for testing purposes. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. It's been submitted. Let's go ahead and head on out of here of the preview form. Let's go into our tables. And here we go. You can see the submission date reservation. So it's been reserved from the 23 to 24. So both dates have been added right here in our date reservation. And we're also going to get an email with this information. So our name and our date of reservation right here. So it's a really useful widget depending on your use case that you can implement super easily in your form. But that's how easy it is to implement a date reservation widget on Jot form. We thank you all for watching. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this widget. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so it notifies you when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.